What's up guys, welcome to TechLogic Lounge where we cover all things IT. We cover IT certifications, home labs, IT career fields, and a lot of other nerdy stuff. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to configure a Docker network, specifically an IPVLAN layer two and three network. However, a lot of the command sets are very similar to other Docker network types, um, so it will get you on the right path if you're trying to do those ones as well. The agenda for this video is pretty straight and simple. We're gonna go ahead and configure an IPVLAN layer two network, and we'll go ahead and deploy an Alpine Linux container on it to make sure we can actually ping out of this network. Then we'll go ahead and deploy an IPVLAN layer three network and do the same thing with an Alpine Linux container. And then from there, you guys will just go ahead and subscribe. Just kidding, but if this video does help you out, make sure you drop a comment down below letting me know how it was able to help you out and how you're using it in your home lab. And also subscribe if you don't mind, I cover all things IT. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Just a quick TLDR for this video. I'll leave all my notes in the comments down below, which will also include like VLAN tagging and all that, uh, just in case you guys are familiar with Docker already and you don't want to listen to my dumb ass. But anyways, back to the video. All right, so the first network type we're going to go ahead and create is an IPVLAN layer 2 network. And let me give you a visual representation of what we're working with. All right, so this is the example we're going to be using for this video. We have a network here which consists of a UDM Pro router, a switch, and a Docker host, which is being run on a Raspberry Pi. That Raspberry Pi is connecting to the switch off of ETH0. That's the physical interface that is connecting to the switch. And uh, the subnet we're going to be using is this one here, 10.1.199.0. And it's associated with VLAN 1. Uh, and the main key point you want to know with IPVLAN Layer 2 networks is that it's going to be utilizing the same physical network that is already pre-configured on your actual network, whatever yours may be. Uh, in this case, this network already exists here. The router is the gateway for it. And that network's getting pumped down to the Docker host. So any container that we deploy on this Docker host here will actually communicate on this same network here. And it'll utilize the physical gateway up here to get out if it needs to. So let's go ahead and configure that. So one of the first things you're gonna need to do is identify the interface, if you don't already know it, uh, that you're gonna be utilizing to connect your Docker IPVLAN network to. And that's so it can communicate across it. So in this case, this network here that's on the physical network is actually already being pumped down to the Docker host on this port here, ETH0. ETH um, and so we're going to associate the IPVLAN Docker network type that we have created with that interface. All right, so let's go ahead and SSH over to our Docker host. All righty. And from here, we're going to go ahead and run this command, IP adder show, to identify the interface that we're going to be connecting the IPVLAN layer 2 network to, if we don't already know. Uh, so I'm using the Ethernet interface, and I've only got one, uh, and it is ETH0. So that's what I'm going to be using in this upcoming command here, which is to actually create the network. So to create the network, we're gonna go ahead and run this command here. So we're using Docker Network Create. We're using TAC D4. These nuts. <laughs> Got it. Uh, we're specifying that it's an IPVLAN network. Uh, the subnet, we're gonna be associating it with the subnet that's already on the physical network that we went over earlier. We're using IP range uh, to specify the specific range of IPs we wanna provide these Docker hosts. Now you don't need this, you can actually take it out and the Docker host will actually just divvy out IPs. If you don't specify an IP when you deploy it, but it's going to do it starting at dot one to dot two dot three. You don't have any control at that point unless you manually configure the IP in the upcoming commands. Uh, you're going to specify the gateway. From here, you're going to specify that parent interface, which is ETH0. That's why you need that previous command. Tech O for specifying it's an IPVLAN layer two mode uh, and then just giving it a name. So let's run this. And there it's created. We can actually see it with. And you can see we have that my IPVLAN layer two right there. So from here, let's go ahead and actually deploy an Alpine Linux container to it and make sure that it can actually ping the network. So we're going to use this one here. So we're going to do a Docker run. And we're specifying IT D4. These nuts. <laughs> Got it. Network, we're specifying the IPv and layer two network that we're using that we just created. We're actually going to assign it an IP. You don't have to, you can leave this, uh, you can remove this and it'll just automatically sign it. Uh, I'm going to name the container test three. And uh, this is the container that I'm using just to test. So let's do that. All right, so it's created. So now let's go ahead and actually run this command so that we can get in uh, to the container and test pinging. So I'll do an, and now we're in the container. So now I'll do an IPA to see my IP address. And we can see that we did get assigned the 10.1.199.8. Let's see if we can ping the gateway. And indeed we can. So we're using that physical network that's already there. We're just creating the virtual version of it essentially on the Docker host and then pumping it out to the network so that it can communicate across that current network that we just created. That's it. That's IPVLAN layer two. And one quick note I did want to mention, if you do plan on using any sort of tagging, if you're doing a little bit more advanced and you're actually tagging your VLANs down to the host, 
you can create sub interfaces. And if you want to do that, you can do it of two ways. You can manually create it, or you can just create it by utilizing the Docker network create command that we just used earlier. So to manually create it, you're going to run this command here. So you're essentially specifying the, the host interface and then you're putting a dot and whatever the VLAN uh, number is. So let's say it's VLAN 40. Dot 40 and that's going to create a virtual sub interface and attach it to VLAN 40 so that when you're tagging the VLAN down to the Docker host, it's going to tag it back as the containers are traversing that specific network. And then when you actually run your Docker network create command, it'll be the same Docker network create command, except for you're going to put for parent interface E0.40 if you decide to do uh, tagging. Um, so that's the manual way to do it, you know, utilizing these two commands here. But if you just want um, to do it with the Docker run command, you can do the same thing. You just add dot 40. And this command will create that sub interface for you. However, once the network is deleted, it will also delete that sub interface. All right, so now we're creating an IPv on layer three network. And if you don't know the differences between layer two and three or any of the other Docker network types, I'm not gonna cover it in this video. You can check it out in my previous video. But essentially, the main point that you're gonna need to know is this network type doesn't actually have to exist on the physical network. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's gonna be a virtual network that's created down here on the Docker host. And the physical network is going to know that, hey, if I want to get to that network, I'm going to have to pass my traffic to the Docker host and the Docker host will act as the actual virtual router for it. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this example here, we're going to use this command here, and it's very similar to the previous uh, command to create the layer two network. We're going to use the Docker network create, tack the, uh, we're going to specify it's an IPv LAN. We're going to give it the subnet. You can obviously create whatever subnet you want. This is just the one I'm using. You're going to specify the parent interface that you're using. Uh, one thing you're going to want to know is you can only have one network type on it. So that IPv LAN layer 2 network we created earlier, we're going to go ahead and have to remove it since it's actually trying to use the same interface that we're about to use. And then we're specifying it's a layer 3 mode instead, and then we're just going to give it this name here. So first thing, let's delete that other network. All right, so that's deleted. And now let's run this command to create the layer 3 network. All righty. So now we can see that that network is created right there, IPv on layer three. And now from here, before we can actually deploy that Alpine container, we're gonna actually have to go ahead and tell the network, so in this case, the UDM Pro, that if it wants to be able to get to this network, it has to uh, go to the Docker host. So pull that up real quick. Now go over to my UDM Pro. And basically I'm telling it, hey, this is the network. I'm, this is just, it's gonna be different depending on what you're using, but I'm saying if I wanna get to this network, which is 192.168.3.0, the Docker network, I need to pass the traffic to this one, which is the Docker host. So I'll apply changes, minimize that. And from here, we'll go ahead and create that Alpine uh, container. So I'm gonna do Docker run IT network, specifying IPvLAN layer three network that we just created. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an IP of 3.250. Uh, if you just wanted to randomly assign it, you can either just take it off or you can use that range command from before. And we'll go ahead and name it test four. And let's do that. Alrighty. And now let's actually get into that container now that it's created. Oh, I'm already in the container. Damn. You dumb motherfucker. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and confirm our IP address. So it looks like we have 192.168.3.250, which is what we were hoping for. And now let's see if we can hit the gateway for that IPv LAN layer 2 network that we created earlier, which does exist. It's not there on the Docker host, but we're just going to try and see if we can reach the UDM Pro. So ping 10.1.199.1. And we can reach it. All right, so that's how we create an IPv on layer two and three network. The only thing left on the agenda is for you to subscribe. Ah, but for real, uh, if it was helpful, make sure you subscribe, drop a comment down below, letting me know what you guys are doing in your network setups, whether it's at home or at work. If this video was helpful, make sure you leave a like as well. I appreciate your guys' support. I will leave the notes down below for all my commands just in case you wanna check it out. Uh, but anyways, take it easy, peace.